So, farewell. Yes. Thanks for everything, your majesty. <laughs> so it's the end of our double act, is it? You made one heck of a sidekick, Ollie boy. When you get home, you look out for Myrtle, won't you? Hey, come back and visit you here. We'll go somewhere dangerous, for old time's sake. You got it. Thank you, everybody. Be good, Oliver. Uh, but not too good. See you next time, our world's in a pot! Take care, all of you. Thank you. Farewell, Oliver. An end to huh? pain. Huh? What's that? What did you do, Oliver? Nothing, I promise. Pitiful fools. My gift of mana will cleanse your tainted soul. This stuff. What? What is it? Snow? But it isn't cold. <gasps> what is this? What the heck? You must come with me! Far, oh, far away!
Mana. The forbidden spell. The death knell for this fallen world. Indeed. It rings out again, as once it did for Nazca. Each time this world ends, one cannot help but recall the name of that forsaken land. The name I recall is Shadar, the one whom we turned executor. Bringing an end to this world was his duty. A task to which he was palpably unequal, and I will not even speak of his duplicity. To think he shared a soul with the Savior, and that he hid this fact from us. It seems that mankind has disappointed your radiance yet again. At the last, the Dark Jinn attempted to save this world. To protect the very creatures that first plunged him into despair. I will not be defied. All who defy our will shall perish. The mortal who shared a soul with Shaddaa still draws breath. Should he too choose to defy our will, his reward shall be death, swift and certain. Man. No, I thought we would be safe here. This place should be beyond the reach of the manor. Can these poor people really be the ship's crew? They've been turned into monsters. <sighs> Time for some target practice. You can't. We can't fight these people. What? You'd rather let them tear us to pieces, would you? Leave it to P. <gasps> hey! P, look out! Please get better. Thank you, Fi. Me. Did you see that? Oh. Oh. She cured them just like that. Flipping Nora. A dot of a thing like her letting rip with a blooming great spell like that. That's amazing. So this is Oliver's imaginary friend, eh? You mean that's me? But why is it that we can see her all of a sudden? Ah, well, that's easy. Allow Professor Drippy to explain. We can see her because she's in our world, innit? And Ollie Boy could always see her because she's from his world, obviously. Uh... Oh, 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 I have to explain every little thing now, do I? I may be a fount of wisdom, but I got my limits, right? Quite. 
What we do know is that this girl destroyed the crystal. Clearly, she possesses the power to... The sp Miraculous? No, it was Sanctify. Sa Sanctify? So... <laughs> huh? It's you. You were the one who sent us back to the past. Yes. You may call me Gauss. I am a member of the council that determines the fate of this world. The Zodiacs. The Zodiacs? The fate of the world? Oh yeah? And what would a busy fellow like you want with the likes of us? I came to thank you. Your power awoke the child. The child? Oh, you mean P? <laughs> I do. Through her, you now possess the power required to purify this world. Sanctify. Sanctify? You mean P's magic can save the whole world? Indeed it can. When you combine your power with hers... Diddle do! Ah, young P. At long last, the one you have awaited has come. Yep. <laughs> now we're friends. The time is close at hand. For both you, young P, and for you, Oliver. I wish you well. Goodbye, doodle -doo. And so, to battle! Here goes! <laughs> Thank you. 
have no choice but to fight! Here goes! <laughs> So, to battle! Here goes! <laughs> to battle them. So, to battle! Here goes! Easy! Here goes! 
So, to battle! Here go! Justice has been done! rewarded So, to battle! Here goes! Easy! Here we go! 
And so, to battle! Here goes! <laughs> Our bravery is just... Yeah, we have to smash it. Looks like he's got other ideas. Poor King Tom. We'll have to give him a right royal battery. Swing! Step aside.
We did it! P, the crystal's right there. Okay, here goes. Sanctify! The manor was fed by the energy that flowed from the black crystals. They formed the cornerstones of the forbidden spell. I'm sure they did, but now they have been destroyed. Surely a mere human could not have carried out such a deed. Could he really be the one? Your radiance, what do you intend to do about this? Fear not. The manor is but a foretaste of what is yet to come. This trifling victory only delays the inevitable. Indeed. The more mankind struggles, the more surely its fate is sealed. Yes, they cling to a frail, bleating hope. But it is soon to be torn from them. To see mere mortals raise arms against your radiance. <laughs> An amusing spectacle. <laughs> we look forward to it. Now, Gallus, are we to understand that you have had contact with the boy? I have. I wished to gauge his power. Gauge his power? And you expect us to believe this? Can it be? First Shadar, and now you. You doubt the word of a fellow counselor? <laughs> what nonsense! Enough! Uh, you, your, your radiance? Enough, I say! Yes, radiance. May I, your radiance? King, your father, he slipped away most peacefully. But he's there. Why are you crying? No, I'm not crying. <laughs> your Highness, it is time for you to take your father's place. Um... You mean I'll be Queen P? Yes, that is what is expected. Your radiance. Really? I wonder if I'll be a good queen. And so, the preparations for the succession are all in place. All matters of state have been entrusted to the Council of Twelve. That's right. You don't have to worry your pretty little head about a thing. <laughs> Look at her. Princess P hasn't the faintest idea what's going on. She is no longer a mere princess. Ah, you are quite right. Please accept my humblest apologies, Queen P. You look simply radiant, Princess P. But we had better start calling you by your true name, Queen Cassiopeia. But father called me P. You're a big girl now, and after today's ceremony, you'll be known by your big grown-up name. But... I... Your subjects are all toasting your health, Queen Cassiopeia. 
They're sure that you'll take after the Wizard King and lead our kingdom to a glorious future. But... I'm P. I don't want to be a queen. Thank <laughs> you. 